Are you ready to bring your MetaHuman to life in real time using just your face? In today's video, I'm going to walk you step by step through how to set up live facial animation in Real Engine using a MetaHuman. Whether you're using an iPhone with a live link face app or even just a webcam, I'll show you exactly how to capture your expressions and stream them straight into your virtual character. We'll start by installing the mobile app, enabling the right plugins in Unreal, preparing your MetaHuman inside the engine, and finally connecting everything to animate facial movement live. No render, no delays, just real-time animation magic. I created this channel to inspire new developers, especially now when the industry feels uncertain, to take action, build their own games, and design their own path one step at a time. That's why your support means the world to me. A like, a subscribe, and ringing that bell helps me continue sharing not only technical tutorials, but also real strategies to help you build the game development career you dream of. If you're curious about what steps successful independent creators are taking to grow in their space, check out our free training at woolen.com. And if you've been trying to start this path into the industry for the last 6 to 12 months without real progress, or if you've been sending applications with no response, then let me tell you, the Game Creator Accelerator might be exactly what you need. It's a lifetime access mentorship program built to help new talents craft their own path in the industry. Because success isn't just about technical skills. It's about using those skills with the right strategy, community, and direction. Want to learn more? Head over to woolen.com, go to the GCA section, and book a time to connect. Now, let's have some fun. The first step will be to install the app. So go to the App Store and search for Live Link Face. Live Link Face for Unreal Engine. Download it. Open the app. Allow to connect to your Wi-Fi. This is a very important step. Accept and allow access to your camera and microphone. Perfect. This is the first step. Now let's get to the settings. And in settings, you can change the name of the iPhone to make it even more clear. We'll call it mine, Tony iPhone and back. Now you need to identify what is the IP of your computer connected to the same Wi-Fi. To do it, look for the command prompt and write IP config. The information on the IP4 address correspond to the IP that this computer is using. Back on your app, look for the live link and click it. In the targets, click at target. And now let's copy the same address that we have for our computer, which is 192, in my case, of course, 168, 1103. The port, you will leave the default. And at. Important to mention is that you require an iPhone that has true depth camera. That means that it could be an iPhone 10 or a newer version. That would be just fine. Also, there are versions of the, this same app for Android. And to complete this first step, let's launch Unreal 5.6. Select Games, blank, and in the name of the project, anything you want. And Create. And because I want to make things a little bit more attractive, I'm also going to add this modular bakery shop you will find the link on the description. It is not a free asset, but I like to make my projects to have this pop of interest. And this type of modular projects usually have a scene, a level where you have a setup of light that looks really great. But in your case, you can also use your default scene. Here is my modular bakery. And in maps, I should have a level, which is in this case, the bakery shop. The step two is to enable the plugins. Go to edit plugins and look for meta human. Select the human meta human animator, the cortex, 
the creator, which at this moment is in beta. This is why this message is presented. And MetaHuman Live Link, as well as MetaHuman SDK. And then restart your project. Once restarted, confirm that you have all plugins installed. So MetaHuman. And here they are. And let's go again to our bakery shop level. The step three is import a MetaHuman. And what you have to consider is that you don't want to import a MetaHuman directly from Fab. You want to use here the Quixel Bridge inside Unreal. So click on Quixel Bridge, click on MetaHumans, and you can pick any of the MetaHumans you have here. In fact, you can create your own MetaHuman and also import it. At this moment, I'm going to select Locals, MetaHumans, and I will pick this MetaHuman, Emmanuel. If you don't have it already downloaded, first download it. I already have it. And now I'm going to click Add to add it to my project. Select Import. When this message is presented, just click Enable Missing. And then select Import. For this prompt of import content, leave all in defaults and click Import. And then finally, click on Restart Now. Save Selected. And once back, open the big, well, in my case, I'm going to open the scene that I want to work with. And to complete this step, let's go to the MetaHuman, look for Emmanuel, and I want to add the Blueprint class. Let me select a section in this bakery where I want him and drag it into the scene. Get closer. The step number four is to connect the Live Link app. So first, in your iPhone or Android, open the Live Link Face app. And in Unreal, go to Windows, Virtual Production, and Live Link. Let's open this window over everything else. Click on the Add Source and select Live Link Face. Now you have this live link face, which, is, which says disconnected, but it is related to Tony iPhone, which is my iPhone. Now double click where it says Tony iPhone. You will have a connection, but it is not still active because you have an, ins an invalid subject. This subject is the character that you're going to link with the camera of your iPhone. In the subject name, you have to write exactly the same name of the item of the MetaHuman item. So write down BP Emmanuel and connect. Now select the BP Emmanuel and look for the section that says Live Link. In the ARKit face subject, select BP Emmanuel and select AR Kit Face. In the iPhone settings, select the real-time animation. Now you can see that in Unreal it's starting to work, but it is not perfect. Go back to the live link, select Emmanuel, and uncheck the head orientation. Let me move this to one side. And now you have that the character is following what I am telling. So I have my camera of the iPhone on one side, but now the character is checking everything that I'm saying, which is fantastic. I have to say that is really great. Look how it follows even my eyes moving to one side and another. <laughs> For this moment, we completed how to use the camera of the iPhone. Now let's talk about a webcam. So I'm going to remove the live link face for a moment. And now click on Add Source, but let's add a MetaHuman video source. Select the MetaHuman video and pick the subject, which will be BP Emmanuel and connect. And finally, select Emmanuel on the outliner and in the live link, now select in the live link body subject, Emmanuel, and in the use live link body, Make it check. And now you can see as well that we 
are getting information from our camera live. And if you want to see the, your webcam at the same time that you are recording, click on the BP Emmanuel, go down and in the monitor image, select input video. And here you can see me on the camera talking while it is transforming the animation for the metahuman. In the most recent State of Unreal presentation held in 2025 in Orlando, they showcase a new system that allows you to transform a character in real time as you perform, not just the facial expression, but the full body as well. What set this apart is the integration of an additional tool called Captree, which you can explore in the link provided below and also in the description. If you're curious to learn more about this interesting tool, visit the, the official website. Personally, I believe that in the future, Unreal will integrate all this into a single unified feature inside the engine. But for the moment, I think that we have to wait just a little bit. And there you have it. If you found this helpful, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear how your setup went, what worked for you, or if you hit any roadblocks. Your feedback helps me keep improving these tutorials and supporting more creators like you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you never miss out on future videos that blend creativity on real engine skills and real strategies to grow as a game developer. And if you are serious about turning your passion into a real path, don't miss the free training at Woolen.com. And remember, the Game Creator Accelerator is there for those who are ready to stop gazing and start building with mentorship, strategy, and a community that lasts a lifetime. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep creating, keep sharing, and most importantly, keep dreaming big. I'll see you soon, my fellow creators. <laughs> it is fun. Mm. Whoa. Dude. I can't be playing for hours with this.